In 2013, government took a decision to abolish examination fees and school development funds by parents, which paved a way for a free primary education. The decision led to an 11.2% growth in the learner enrollment at pre-primary and primary level between 2013 and 2016. Last year, a decision was again taken to abolish compulsory school development funds contributions at secondary level. The economic recession affecting the globe led government to cut on the education grants provided to schools, a situation which will call for parents' contributions, although on a voluntary basis. The compulsory funding that has been abolished or the compulsory contribution, in our opinion, that does not prevent a parent still to take up a responsibility for the education of their children and equally like government look into areas of sourcing and funding education for the children. The decision has raised eyebrows from the public questioning as to whether government has failed to provide free education for all or not. But the ministry's head of administrations brushed this notion off. Sanet Stienkamp said the decision is only to reduce government contributions to both public and private schools based on the resources at government's disposal. Well, government has certainly not failed. Where we have fall short was to provide a full subsidy, but we still provided a subsidy. We must also remember that it was not just the education grant that, ha that was affected. It was also the subsidy to the private schools that were reduced by one third and this, the subsidy to the private hostels that were reduced with a full ten dollar per child. So what government is currently doing is making um, a contribution where they see it will still make an impact. It's a difficult thing, but that is what we are doing with the resources that we have at hand. The ministry is however confident that the decision will have no negative impact on the education system as parents need to have a mindset of assisting, which has been proven over the years. Stienkamp said government is still looking into new funding formulas that will best suit the situation. Salomotenga, NBC News, Finduk.